All right, so here's the oncoming force, Johnny Walker, certainly a guy who can take this torch in Brazil and run with it. He has become a massive star over there, and all indications are he's just getting started. The whiskey drinkers love the name, <laughs> but they fall in love with the fighter. Johnny Walker is a fantastic competitor, a guy that can knock you out and finish you in no time. He goes at his opponents with this recklessness, and he goes in a way that shows no respect to whoever he is fighting, and it shows in the way and in the time that he spent since he's made his UFC debut. And he is every bit 6'6", and one oh, of the few guys so that can actually match John Jones's length in this light heavyweight division. Size matters. Johnny Walker has size and then some. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Both fighters are 28. Walker will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 7 losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mekhakala, Russia, Margaret and Goliath! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. He's got him hurt here. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Back mount now. Three minutes now in round one. Work 
working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Are working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He might get a finish here. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Wow. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture and throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield to try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you want. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. He's hit here. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Straight right hand, no good. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! What a sweep! He got a bad! Back to the feet now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message. Oh! It's over. It's over. He got it. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Magomed Ekelona! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.